Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, today we're going to keep going on approvals, sort of a wrapping up session. Uh, I want to go over a couple of things that are fairly obvious. I know uh, you normally I don't go through things that are obvious. Well, sometimes I do. But anyways, um, let's go to workflows. And so a couple of kind of cleanup things. First of all, if you're creating a workflow um, and you want to use an existing one as a template, uh, just copy it. So you can copy actually here or you do new workflow from template, which is even better. Um, and then you can change that around. If you don't like it, just delete it out. Uh, and then at least you're not changing the existing template ones. Um, another thing that's good as well is that if you have a complicated workflow that you created, you can actually import it and export it, right? So you can export it out of this company and import it into another company or into another database. Um, so you can move things around fairly easily, which is nice, definitely. Um, and finally, there is something called step instances here. Now this is uh, sort of an interesting table. If I take a look at this, it's like, whoa, what's going on here? Um, this is sort of like debugging for developers. Uh, you get into this kind of crazy environment where there's a lot of variables and stuff like that. But what it is really is that every single workflow that's going on is listed here. So if it's hanging out there waiting for a response or, you know, something like that, then it's going to be in here and it's going to tell you uh, at what stage it is. So you can see here that you have workflow threads. This is the same thread. And these are all of the things that are happening or have happened. Uh, so you see the functions here. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm going to go ahead and make one sales order here. Um, and I'm going to throw it to the Canon group again. I know I keep using Canon group. It's kind of like the hello world for NAV. Whoops. Uh, kind of group. All right. So, uh, and the Paris tier, I promise to use another item one day. And okay. So here we go. Now I sent this for approval. Approval request has been sent. Uh, I'm going to close this out. Yes. Uh, go into workflows. And take a look at my sales workflow again, right here. So I have it here. And now I go into my steps. And I can see here that we have created a new instance right here. So this is the uh, time that I just submitted. And you can see that everything happened at 1244. It went all the way down here. And uh, this is all this thread here. You see there's a new thread and you can see that it went through a whole lot of functions in all of this. Uh, some are active, some are inactive, uh, some are responses, some have been completed. You can see the entry point is here uh, and you can just see the steps are just counting through all the way here. 29, 30, 31, etc, etc, etc. So, I mean, you might have to go in here and debug a, an approval process uh, and see where it's at and trying to kind of get it out of the system or something like that. It can happen. Um, so this is a great table for that. Um, and so, uh, but it's kind of annoying to have those G, uh, GU IDs because they're really big. So, okay, uh, that was it on that. Um, for next video, I will probably go into flows. So what are flows? So I'm going to just go in here and see something called manage flows here. So flows are connected to Azure and uh, Microsoft wants us to connect more to Azure uh, with everything. And so it's just natural to go there and figure out what the hell is going on there. Um, 
and uh and so for next video hopefully we'll we'll get there uh so thanks for watching if you like this thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you haven't uh until next time thank you